Well, hello there, Tom Green, coming back at you with some CC 2014 goodness. And today's goodness is going to be real short, but man, is it cool. And it's going to deal with how we can get SVG images out of Illustrator and into Reflow and Animate, the latest versions. So let's take a look at how all this works. So I've got open a radio piece of clip art here from uh, an old, old version of Illustrator. And as you can see right here, it's nothing more than a series of vectors and so on. And in the bad old days, you would have to go to File, Save As, and then you would look for the SVG and you would have to just go through all kinds of hoops and conniptions and stuff like that. Not anymore. All I have to do is select the object on the artboard, copy it to the clipboard, and let's pop over to Animate. And there we go. And to bring in an SVG graphic from Illustrator, paste, Command or Control V. And you get this little dialog box, and it says pasted SVG, which doesn't tell me anything. So I'm going to change it to Radio. We'll just get that name out of there. Press return, and there is my radio, and it is a full SVG item. And if I pop over to Reflow and do the same thing, paste, Command or Control V, there's my radio, and I can place it anywhere on the Reflow page. And because it's SVG, it's fully scalable and all that cool stuff. So there you go, there's a real big time saver. Simply take your Illustrator documents, make up a whole bunch of icons or whatever, copy whatever you want to the clipboard, over to Reflow, paste, over to Animate, paste, and your SVG document is now sitting inside your document that you're preparing. And you can see, there it is, SVG right there in Animate. And if I go over to Reflow, and open up the library, you can see there it is, pasted SVG. And if I want to rename it, all I have to do is name it Radio, and I am good to go. So have some fun with this. This is a huge, huge productivity boost.